There you go. Hi, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd just do a quick uh, live thing with you, show a few some, sort of some early tricks or some some basic chords on open G tuning, which is uh, what I've done basically all of pretty much everything we do with log and done an open G tuning. Kind of started doing it when I was maybe 19 or so, switched over and kind of just really dove into it. And uh, so anyway, if you have your guitar with you, you should be tuned to D, G, B, G, B, and a D. So basically you're just, you're dropping the E and the A string down a step and you're dropping the high E down to, down a step to a, to a D. So the reason they call it open G is because when you play it open, it's, the, it's a G chord. And it's voiced like an A chord on standard tuning. So we have the fifth and then the root, there's a G, and then the fifth again, and then the G, and then a B, which is the, which is the uh, major third, and another fifth. And some people wonder like why is why are there so many fifths in the in an open in the open G chord? And yeah, there's more fifths than roots, but uh, it becomes really useful later on when you're trying to when you have to find different voicings in different places you want to play the same kind of chord. Um, so anyway, um, so if you're ready, we got that. So, so yeah, obviously uh, we tune it open. That's a G chord, and when you bar across any fret and whatever whatever chord that's going to be that's this one's a c and the reason i know that is because on the second string it goes g a b c and when you're doing the flat straight kind of barring just across the across the frets like this the the chord name uh, is based on whatever this note is so there's c and there's d You'll notice I'm, when I play these chords, I'm kind of I'm not really going too heavy on the lowest string, the fifth there, because it just changes the chord. If you want that fifth in there, it's cool. But most of the time, you're kind of kind of muting, I'm a little bit muting that low string with my index finger, going like that. All right, so yeah, you can kind of you can kind of do a basic song just doing the bars, you know. So to go beyond uh, the, the regular bar, um, say I'm up here playing a C. Now one of the popular chords, the ones you see a lot of times when people are trying to talk about open G, they'll talk about Keith Richards, they'll talk about some of the, some of the songs he did in the 70s that used open G. And kind of the main couple things he did is obviously the, the bar. And then uh, from this, if, if C is my root, and if that's the key that I'm in, I want to go to the four chord, or the F, here's a way to do that. Here's the F. Come on in and see, come over and see this one there. So C, and then here is the kind of common chord. It's basically kind of an F. If you want to make it even more full, you hit pick up this. And that's kind of, again, I'm kind of going light on the lower string here, not really hitting this one. That's that. So that's kind of handy. See so here, this is your Keith Richards stone, you know. So that one, you know, that one, probably anybody who's messed around with Open G knows. And it's kind of here's how it's mapped out. This is what it looks like. If you want blocks, um, but yeah, so there you go. There's that that voicing, and again, um, it just depends on where you are. All right, let's show you the other sh another shape here, and it's the the D shape. We call this the D shape because this is another. I'm calling these kind of the the cowboy chords, the real the easy first chords you're gonna learn on this. Okay, and the D. So we're looking at here. This is the G, and this this string right here is the root of that. That's a G. But 
okay, here's a D. I want to make a, if I want to make a D chord, I do it like this. So I'm going here, here, and here. So what I'm, what I'm creating from low to high is a new root, fifth, another root, a fifth, and there's another, ooh, let's see, what's that? That's the, uh, that's another root and a root. So there's actually no third in there. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can start doing the third right here. There's your third. You can make it a minor third. Or just let it hang. And you've kind of got this neutral D. And of course, depending on what you combine it with. It's that. Okay, so for example, if I were to play a song like uh, By Low, Nothing But Heart. Uh, it, it goes G. I like when I, for G when it's open like that. Sometimes I, I like to fret this G on the D string to kind of make it full. Or you can pick up the third here. So there's my G, and then it's D, and then E. Or no A. This is A. So. The D is really cool because once you've memorized sort of what these, you know, the notes on these first two strings, then you can kind of like standard tuning, you have the, you have the E form and the A form you can do for barring. And we can talk, you know, when I, I'm hoping to do more of an extensive sort of lesson thing at some point and have it up on YouTube and I'll kind of get into a lot of that. But um, once you know the barring thing and the in general, the D shape, then you're able to go up the neck and be able to bar anything, you know, okay, I want to play a, I want to play a D flat. There's a D flat, you know. Uh, okay, I want to play, I want to play a G sharp, but I don't want to do it down here. Okay, well, I can do it right here because this is a G, and if I, if it's a root, well, G sharp. Again, no third, you got to be kind of creative, you can kind of find thirds where you find them. But, um, there's that. All right, and I'll show you one more example of a low song that's sort of using some of these chords, these first chords I'm showing you. Oh, wait, no, first I have to show you a E minor, and then I'll show you Dinosaur X. All right, so here's, here's an E minor, seven. And that one, that one is pretty fun. It goes like this. So here's an E. In this, there's an octave E there, and then here's this is this playing a seven of the minor. So I'm getting a root, a flat at third, a root, a flat at third, um, a seven, and I think yeah, both seven. So, so there it's like this one, this one, and this one. That's E minor. All right. So if you were to play a dinosaur act. Come up here and start on the first, on the fifth fret, on the second string, and go like this. So, down to the G. So, E minor. with the D and the E minor 7 that you learned and the A or in the open and the G and it's B minor. B minor goes like this. You're hitting this one, this one, and this one. So the typical A, um, D, and G string, whatever. But I, I come, my, my fingers are really 
wide and stubby, so I, I can cover three strings with two two fingers. So, so it's B, and you you're kind of kind of mute this one, mute the low string a little bit because it's mostly these guys, and then these and the the ringing open strings here. This is a B minor. And I use that one a lot. There's a lot of nice extensions on it. of chords is uh, I use those a lot and uh, maybe on the on maybe more maybe a more extensive video later I'll show you some of the extensions you can do off of off of these these things you know sixes and adds and how to do minors and a couple different ways to voice along the neck for those things and, and there's some really fun inversions and sort of voices you can do kind of the work with funk and reggae kind of using on the high strings and Maybe I'll show some of that too, but anyway, I hope you enjoy. Everybody uh, continue, keep your guitar where you out and where you hang out so it's easy to pick up and strum a few things and enjoy. And uh, peace on earth. We'll see you on Friday with uh, the love thing. Bye.